Mayor Giuliani give us any further information on the scale of the casualties? Actually, he, he said that there were six confirmed fatalities at the hospital, but then, of course, he did say that there are many, many more traps. What was also interesting, at the end of that press conference, the police commissioner here in New York City, uh, Bernard Carrick, uh, took the podium, and he said that they are certain that there are still people trapped in the, some buildings around the World Trade Center site, and they are still alive. He did not go into how they knew this, whether they knew this from bomb-sniffing dogs or uh, dogs that go in and search for this type of thing or any kind of uh, high-tech equipment, but they are certain, and he also indicated that they could be police officers, New York City police officers. Another interesting uh, thing that happened at that press conference also was we found out that a number of top brass, top officials in the New York City Fire Department are confirmed dead uh, in uh, that blast. They were actually in Mayor Giuliani's original, what we call the bunker here, his emergency office of emergency management, which was located at 7 World Trade Center. And we do know that they were in there, and they are confirmed dead now. That's terrible news. Um, obviously, uh, operations are continuing uh, through the night. Uh, any num any estimate uh, of the number of people injured being uh, attended to in, in hospitals, I, I gather, not just in Manhattan, but all over New York City and indeed in, in Connecticut and New Jersey as well? The mayor indicated that so far there have been 1,100 emergency room visits, and of course that number keeps changing uh, as we speak. I'm actually right now in front of Bellevue Hospital. That's one of the uh, two major trauma centers here in uh, the lower portion of Manhattan. And their ambulance is, is slowly arriving here. Um, there's actually a line of people outside this hospital along First Avenue. Believe it or not, uh, we're here to donate blood. Um, although uh, officials say that they do have enough blood for today, uh, they are worried about um, blood in, in, in the coming days. And they're also asking people to go outside of Manhattan to donate blood uh, to help uh, with, with the blood banks for the entire tri-state area. Another interesting point, Neil, as I was um, downtown lower on Houston Street, they actually closed Houston Street down. Now, this is a major artery that runs from the East River to the Hudson River. It's kind of the northern portion of, of, of lower Manhattan. Any doubts about your, your future, um, consider politics. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much, Ashley, speaking with us from Santa Cruz in California. NPR senior news analyst Daniel Shore has uh, been with us uh, throughout this hour. Thank you very much for joining us. Glad to be here. We also spoke with Richard Hake, a reporter for WNYC who was at Mayor Giuliani's news conference. We spoke with Brian Bernstein also, who was in the World Trade Center today when it was struck by a hijacked airliner that crashed into the building Another airliner crashed into the other tower of the Trade Center. Both buildings collapsed. A third airliner crashed into the Pentagon across the Potomac River from Washington, D.C. A fourth crashed in southwestern Pennsylvania. NPR's continuing coverage will continue after the newscast. I'm Neil Conan in Washington.